Items since last time we met, the uh, we'll start with events and bids. The Baronial Finance Committee met. We did approve a bid for barmaids for 2003. Yay. Lord Nicolo DeSante was the winner of our bid, five to zero, with a unanimous vote. It is going to be a very different and a very engaging event, in so much as things are included. We have to be careful how we publicize it. We have to be careful how we market it. Megan and Nicola are working on that. <laughs> but in essence, imagine an event where RVs are at no cost, vendors are at no cost, and we're feeding people as part of their entry fee. There's a lot of gratis. There's a lot of built in. So as soon as this um, marketing slip hits um, on, is that? On our uh, DeSanti's behalf, um, we, we're going to ask all the officers just to help pushy pushy a little bit. If you go to an event and you don't mind um, declaring it and getting people to sign up, uh, there will be a 15 day pre reg from when we post. Um, but short of that, um, outside of that, it is in your uh, well controlled autocrat's hands and his committee, so you'll hear the rest of the things from him. X Checker will drift back into the background and just make sure that we get all of our uh, receipts and our costs in within 30 days of the event. Oh, and we are taking PayPal for this event, and Megan and team already have that link. So, uh, X Trucker's duties are more or less done. Uh, to move forward to the uh, checking and savings in our current state, um, right now the majority of uh, expenses, if we will, or debits that are coming out of the account are advances for barmaids. Things like porta potty advances for the food, uh, paying for the insurance things like that, totally normal cost of fees. Um, so uh, the account is down about $2,100 from where it was last month at this time, but it's all in kind with barmaids. There's no extra special expenses that have come out. Um, one matter to bring to the wider group's attention, um, in working with Kingdom Exchequer through our books, there were some discrepancies noted in the 2020 books we opened those books up, went row by row by checks, and we have discovered that the AAA storage entry for last year was not entered into the books, even though a check was written, which put us at a $1,238 deficit of a cost not noted. Now, the check was cashed. It just wasn't in our QuickBooks. So our QuickBooks was over-reporting what we had on balance, and that was causing a discrepancy in, in reconciling the books. So we are working on that right now. We are going to have to reopen the 2021, or excuse me, the 2020 books and revise our closing balance, uh, but for all the right reasons. On the positive side, we are also missing a check. Um, it appears that we never received our split of the proceeds from Melee. This was identified by Mindy herself because she noticed that the entry was in their books and not reconciled. So she brought that information to me that it looks like a check was either never delivered, never cashed, never whatever. So she is going to help connect the dots with us. This is absolutely the benefit with having a kingdom X checker who looks at all of our books and connects the dots and realizes who didn't get the other half of the check. Now, whether that will exactly match the $1,200 we forgot to log, who knows? We can come out close. We'll see what happens. Um, it's backwards today. So uh, we'll take care of those couple of things. We will then re-reconcile the 2022 books. We will triple check the starting balance for January 1st, and then we will um, have to re-sign the January statements and re-sign the February statements for those reconciliation. It's at that point. Um, so that is what's going on with the books right now. But outside of that, it's just a little bit of um, administrative that we're still working through. Um, X checker duties coming up forward, letter of intent was posted. We have one applicant who was asked to step up as a drop dead and deputy X checker. Um, at this time, I don't believe we're going to get any other applications in. Um, I do need to ask um, our Seneschal's feelings about moving forward with our one candidate. Do we want to leave the post up further? Or are we, I'm, I'm comfortable with the candidate. They are new to the role. They're going to take some training, but we are out of clients not having one at all, and I do feel funny about waiting too much longer, especially if our candidate starts to um, feel less interested. 
So um, if no one feels badly about it, um, Lakeview Lemacita is not here. I think that post has been up at least 30 days now. I think it's on this. So are we good with, with moving forward and taking that post down? I see no problem. Great. Okay. I'll make news on that. And then that's going to be another warrant we have to sign. That's going to be another couple of months before they're on the checkbook. The sooner we start, the better. Um, all right. Well, then I'll take care of that. So we will be fully in compliance with the drop dead for X checker. Um, and then from there, uh, the plan for our office is going to be we are going to have six to eight people signed with financial warrants. Um, only five of those personnel will be able to write checks that we are going to pre-financially warrant a number of people so that we have more support for eight. Um, in talking to folks in the barony and canvassing barony, basically the main reason nobody wants to be ex trucker is everybody thinks that means you sit at the gate for every event for the rest of your life. And you never have any fun. Yeah. So um, what we're gonna be doing for, um, I don't know if we'll be able to try it at Coronation. I've talked to Mindy about some of Mons participating at Gate to get some practice during Coronation since we're host or uh, Coronation, yeah, I'm saying that right. During Coronation since we're hosting. But since Barmaids is coming first, what we are gonna do is we're gonna run Gate the first day of Barmaids from 3 p.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. We're gonna run Gate on day two from 8 to 8. We're gonna ask everyone who takes a shift to take a two-hour shift, but to be there 15 minutes in advance out of courtesy for the next person. And I'm gonna go out of my way to find six to eight people who were willing to play along so nobody really does a full day at Gate. Now, I will probably be neurotic and have a hard time getting away from Gate because they seem neurotic. Um, but still, that's our goal. And so that's the point of financially warranting um, up to eight people is so that the people at the Gate can take cash, not so that the people at Gate have to write checks. The checks will still be in reserve, and I will probably still ask to be the depositor for that event just to be the field. Um, okay. I have a question. Ma'am. What are the requirements for being financially you know, warranted to take money at gate? Willingness. Willingness is a big one. Uh, the background check is no longer a thing. That's a myth. So um, willingness to do it, you submit your driver's license, you get added to the checkbook. Um, it is an extremely long, laborious process to get on the checkbook. It's taken me two months, even as the ex-checker. So it doesn't happen overnight right now. But, um, but that's a lot of it. And just understanding, like I'll have to take everyone through the training, but just understanding how to appropriately take cash at gate, how to account for it, being responsible for the, the cash box. But to a lesser degree, anyone who's worked a cash register in a fast food restaurant has the vibe. I mean, you count cash, you make change. You, you check your till at the end of your shift. It's, it's that kind of a thing. Um, but yeah, like any, we'll put another call out, but everyone who's willing, I honestly need to help because we need to demystify that this is a super hard job to do and just be like, yeah, it is math and accountability. I would add to that that having a share that works with the X checker yeah. is very handy because then you have the share there that can track who's coming in and who's going. Do we have a named sheriff at the moment? We do not. And that is something that we need to come up with so that we can have a better cooperative team. Yeah, we have a more crowd control. Yeah. Okay. Um, last item um, for me, I know this is a long report. Um, I've been keeping in touch with our counterpart at Sundragon relative to our book audit. So the book audit is something we talked about last week where we have to do a formal audit of our books, our accounts, our gear, our everything in the storage shed, our regalia, our equipment, everything's gotta be accounted for under the eyes of a fellow financial deputy from another barony. Um, Sundragon um, offered to be our partner. Um, my fellow exchequer over there just came through her knee surgery this week. She got her staples removed today. She and I talked again. So she thinks she's ready for the audit in maybe a couple weeks. And so that will be the last thing is I'm going to start putting the word out um, and Kay, this hits you and I a lot. I'm going to put the word out that we need to start gathering people who will be willing to help with the audit, pulling things out of the storage shed, counting, yeah. logging. Um, and while we have things out, um, those of us who care about such things, 
we'll also look at things and figure out what needs to be repaired, what needs to be mended. Like while we have things out, we can just assess. So this is also a perfect time to do recovery from war. Yep. Because we have to pull everything out of the trailer as well. Yep. And then um, we will repack the trailer the correct way because <laughs> we're, we went to take some stuff back or yeah take some stuff back and um it's terrifying in there right now so okay. so when we do that we will unpack and we will repack and we will take pictures that way when p and i are not there you will have pictographic guides to where to put stuff my heart, darling, my heart. <laughs> um, so I would say that's going to be the final thing is the book audit, ask for people to help with the book audit, we'll pick a time, um, we'll find a place. Sir? Sorry, on the same subject about going through the actual book audit, Yeah. Um, the calendar looks like the first weekend that's available is going to be the first weekend of, of next month. The first weekend of which? First weekend of April. April. And that's where she's not going to be here Saturday. Oh, I see what you mean. Of your guys' yeah. availability? Yep. Yeah. We have crowd tournament. We yep. have Sun Dragon and is involved in Border yep. Wars. And then it's the first weekend of the month. So. And I'm not entirely sure we'll get it all done in one day. We'll probably have to pick waves where we do chatteling one day. Right. We do and regalia day. Maybe we do the storage unit a day. We'll have to break it up. That's okay. and, and for those of us that can do it midweek, we may even try you know, to do some things during the day and afternoons. It's gonna depend on who volunteers. Okay. And and that does mean that when we're doing this, any office that has stuff needs to bring stuff for us to count. Correct. Or let us know so we can go to you so we can count your stuff. Or in cases like that, we may say in your specific case, bring it all to fighter practice and we'll knock it out while we're together for some other reason or court yes. or whatever. But but we'll be creative about it, but I don't think we can do this in one sitting. From my, my personal perspective, I don't think that's doable. So we'll just figure out how to best break it up. But the fact is, this is the end of the rainbow. We've gotten through all the scary stuff. Now it's just the audit. And then we do this again in two years or as often as we feel like, and we've got one more checkbox done. So easy peasy. <clears throat> Question. Um, for the arts and science stuff, all I have is several boxes full of multiple copies of old files for um, judging uh, oh. competitions and things. Nothing of any real value, nothing of any real worth. Um, it hasn't left my closet since I got it. Actually, it did when we were doing the, um, the Barony competition last August only to find out that all of those forms in there are like null and void and useless. With permission, because that does not feel exchequery because those aren't assets that depreciate or have um, okay, so you're accountable values. Accountable stuff. But, Lady Seneschal, that feels like that's right up your alley to talk about the state of that office probably more than myself. What should be there for, for ANS, what shouldn't, that very much out of my lane. So, so the only thing it would that it would be under us in any way, shape, or form is if we were the ones who printed them. But at this point, eh, it, 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 would been, it would have been in a prior year. Yeah, printing. and I don't it's, think so. Yeah, or if if a prior teacher had left us a bunch of things that could have gone in largesse, I, it doesn't feel like that. There's no largesse no, in it. I'm not. Do you, you do you not have an ANS banner that you? I've got a, I got one banner. Okay, I do it. Okay, one banner. Okay. Woo! Kind of, kind of regalia. What, what, one banner. That's it. All right, there you go. You're on board. Okay. <laughs> Bring it to fighter graphics. So we can. I, I won't be up fighter graphics. Well, we'll, we'll even talk about waves, but yes. Maybe next. You want me to take a picture of it and send it to you? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe take a picture and email. We will. I, I love everyone. I will come up with a plan. I promise I'll come up with it. No one feel obligated to come up with a plan. But yeah, it will. We'll figure it out. But regalia is a thing. Articles of office are a thing. Um, if you were to pass the office to somebody else, the thing you would pass them is a thing. So, a banner is a really good example. That's we'll, we'll, deal, we'll deal with your papers. Thank you. It's, I mean, 
most of it is unused. I know, I know exactly what you do. Oh, exactly. Like, yeah, that that face. Yes, perfect. <laughs> All right, ma'am. Um, as I'm understanding what you're saying, um, I need to bring all of the loaner gear and everything else. Generally. Bring is a bring is a strong word. In a case like yours, it might be easier to come to you. Oh, mm -hmm. but but laying it out and counting it is still a thing, and counting is it a group is a thing. Uh -huh. But when transport is a hazard, it's just as easy for folks to come to. Muhammad comes to the mountain. I think in a case like that. <laughs> I, I have. Oh, there's a graft. Yeah. I love me a spreadsheet. Yeah. But yeah, any officer that has specific questions, by all means, let me know. Um, this will be a this will be a slow process, but it'll be thorough. Um, and we will uh, we will take care of all things. Um, outs outside of the book audit and the other stuff, or uh, anyone have any questions for the office in general? Anything I can help answer? All right. Thank you for doing the things. All the things. All the things. Yeah. All right. Thank you. This is off. Um, I apologize. I did get lots and lots of reports this month. It made me very happy. Uh, I also just, I basically drove through from Tucson and landed at the campus. So I don't have the reports yet. Our night marshal is here, however, he can give us a report. <laughs> Even though he wasn't here this time. Well, I have, uh, you have Lord Nicholas's report here. I could. Well, what I need is first, I need the night marshal to look up the previous report. It looks like he kind of did that. But anyway, go ahead. Oh, oh, oh okay. because he covered it out. Well, Cody, See, Cody was here, though. Yeah, that's Cody is responsible for that report, right. not that. That doesn't mean Nicholas did do it. Great. That is all for sure. We know Nick. Okay. Um, Lord Night Marshal. I just walked in. Good day. It's very good to see you. Good, bad. I'm sorry. Do I do a big start on Oh, my bad. You guys are here. Right. I just saw you. I like your shirt. So I know one meeting was canceled because of inclement weather. <clears throat> and the other one, I believe, I thought I saw that there was five heavy fighters. I will get the rest of the details though and make sure the report is up to you guys. And Steve Bullets, sir. Yeah, Steve Bullets is here. Okay, okay, you can read Nicholas. Fighter practice 12 mm -hmm. had five heavy combat with one marshal and seven rapier fighters with one marshal, and February 26th was canceled due to weather. So it's always cool when things line up. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Hey, um, <laughs> archery report. I apologize, I don't have one. Do you have one? Oh yeah, we yeah, he said his like yeah, he always, he's uh, always good. Yeah. Like I, I gotta scroll back to find it. Yeah. Um, he always has good right. I think his report is um, Oh, wow, that's a thing. I would, I, I can say it's a secondary. Archery, archery we were winded out. The first one, mm -hmm. and then everything was canceled for the second. Yeah. yeah. It was two winters, everything. So, yeah. yes. for your reading pleasure, <laughs> 12, we had thrown weapons and archery class. Oh, that's right. 26 was canceled due to weather. I'm <laughs> <laughs> detecting a pattern. <laughs> <laughs> Doors and service. Weather? Same. Is it the drive? With or without COVID? Yeah. Okay. From weapons. No throw when they're bad. <laughs> <laughs> the short and succinct. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Harold. Barony Health Court on February 3rd at War of the Phoenix. Only previously reported wards were given. No court was held on February 21st due to illness in the Barony. I did. Follow up consultations <laughs> at war for two populist members' devices. I did two additional device consultations and one name change consultation. And by the way, you were awesome at War of the Phoenix. I know I put you through the rigor and things. 
You're welcome, Your Excellency. Is there a strong Goku commercial? Yes, actually, before that, there's a Romeo demo. Yes. Saturday, uh, this coming Saturday, the 11th, the Douglas Art Gallery from 10 to 2. It's next to the post office in Douglas. So you go to Douglas and you hit 10th and you turn left and there's the post office and it's the next building. And um, Gudrun, Nan, Seamus, and I will be there by nine to set up the top of our period pavilion. Um, it was blue stakes this week so that we won't hit any gas or water lines. <laughs> and, um, we're hoping for fighters and musicians and artisans and people to come. And um, the gallery people are very, very excited it's set up if you didn't see the pictures uh on the book of faces um i think it turned out pretty good the pictures are beautiful this was our third year of doing it and they're all very very excited and they love all the things that people wrote about the objects in the display and they'll even have cookies for us so they were like oh Yes, we have some fun for you cookies. Um, as as there's any way to convince me. Cookies. <laughs> um, know that it's exactly an hour drive from my house in Hereford, so allow enough time to get there. It's not complicated, it's just an hour drive. Um, and I hope people will be there. Any Anybody planning to come? What was the time again on that? 10 to 2. 10 to 2? Sounds good. That is doable. Together. Okay. Yeah. We will. We will be there. Okay. So that is very awesome. I will. I will bring shiny clicky stuff. Very good. Shiny clicky stuff. Not shiny my yes. <laughs> in, in any event, it's good exposure for the barony, especially because we've been invited and invited back. So they're, they are very, very excited about it. Um, also, they may want to um, talk some people into trying to join the gallery. Um, sure. I think nice. it's a whole $30 a year, and you can display stuff and sell it there and stuff like that. So, Cute. Um, and we may get our picture in the Douglas newspaper. Yes, the guy. You're on a roll, man. Yeah. Yeah. The guy who he's wandered by, he can't stay the yeah. whole time, but yeah, they said, oh, he'll be on his way somewhere else, but he'll stop and get pictures. Anyhow. Um, so, yes, they're they're very much looking forward to seeing this. Um, so that's that's baronial. Um, in uh, the first year we did it, we did it as a club thing, and they wrote us a nice letter to the president of the college thanking us and all sorts of stuff. And then student government said, we need to approve it. We need to, you know, have oversight and all that stuff. And I said, fine. Barony March Mont Nitrous is a 401c3 <laughs> nonprofit educational organization, and we're just doing it. It's not the club, it's the Barony. So um, just so people are clear, yes, you can talk about the club, but it's the Barony doing the display, not the club doing that display. So that's not strong vote. Right. Um, just so people are clear on clear. <laughs> that line of legalities. Um, yeah, the, the college just like freaked out because they didn't have any oversight whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> Imagine those wild students over in Douglas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, they're cool <laughs> place to be. So, I'm um, animal house. <laughs> Um, so, uh, Strong Oak then, Youth Arts Festival went great, uh, her uh, ladyship Gudrun made the newspaper article, yeah. Yeah. she was picture 304 with this story. Um, also, thanks to her ladyship Tafina, Lady Katra, the Lord uh, Braden, our um, additional age student member <laughs> of the club. We have to have one. Um, Master Seamus and Lady Isabel all came and helped with that. Um, we didn't put it out for everybody to come because it was really crowded. So we had 
all those people did what we needed to do. And um, um, the Honorable Lady Gudrun says she had fun and she wants to go to a kid next year. Yay! Yay. 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 It's got a lot of kid age this time, like eight and below. Yeah. yeah little. Different things with them than the slightly older ones. Yeah. Um, so it went well. Um, I haven't heard anything from the coordinator, like if they want us back or if they hate us. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, the funny thing was, um, in the original map, we were like shoved off in a corner. And when I got there, the student government advisor was like, oh, hi, gave me a big hug and showed us we had the front row right next to the entry nice. door. So mm -hmm. they had moved us, pulled us out of the corner because they were very excited that we were there in garb and doing. Right, uh, Andy fun. says we have that spot next year if we want it. Okay. He liked us. So oh, he cool. liked us whether the coordinator cares or not. So. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so that was cool. Um, we do, for Strong Oak, also have a field trip planned on Sunday, March 19th, to go see Romeo and Juliet at the U of A Repertory Theater in Tucson. Um, the, if you are a Cochise College student, you can ride in the college van. If you are not a Cochise College student, you can ride in my private van. <laughs> I'm driving the college van, my husband's driving my private van. <laughs> Um, and, um, and right now we have six people going, so there's room in both vehicles. Um, it's $32 for adults, which I need preferably tonight or by like noon tomorrow because I'm going to go buy the tickets. Um, if you are a senior or military, you can get a ticket for $30. If you are a student but not Cochise College student, you can get a ticket for $15. Um, Cochise College students, the uh, club is subsidizing your ticket. So $5 saves your spot in the van, and the club will pay the other $10 for your ticket. Um, the way we usually do it when we go on field trips like this is we leave the student union parking lot, because that's where the vans are staged. Uh, we leave the student union parking lot at 10 a.m. sharp, and then on the way there, we vote where we're going to eat lunch. We can eat at any place in Tucson because we have time. Uh, sometimes it's in and out Burger because it's uh, convenient off the freeway. Sometimes it's Main Gate Square, like, what is it, Payways or something, Chinese food in Main, Main Gate Square right by U of A campus. But whoever's in the college van gets to vote. <laughs> <laughs> and um, otherwise, if you don't want to do that, you can bring a sack lunch. But we're still voting on where we're stopping because I'm not taking a sack lunch. Um, and like I said, um, college people can ride in the van. If you're a current student uh, at Cochise College, you can ride in the van. Um, otherwise, you can ride in my van, my personal van with my husband and her, her ladyship Gudrun because she's an employee but not a student so I don't know. It's yeah. all the rules are complicated. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the cutoff is um, noon, noon tomorrow officially um, how it's been advertised to the college community. And so there are six of us right now and we'd love to have you join us. Uh, their their plays are pretty darn good, and it's a lot of fun to go up there. Oh, and you get validated parking for buying the ticket, and so if you want to go on your own, you can do that too. But uh, parking's free on the weekend. <laughs> um, and then after the play, usually we go back to Main Gate Square and get ice cream. At Ice cream place on the corner. She's selling it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we're back by 6 p.m. Back at, at the college by 6 p.m. So, um, yeah, it's it's our club sponsored event open to the entire community kind of thing. So we're checking the box so we can continue to be a part of it. Anybody want to go? It Is sounds anyone? interesting. <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. I love those plays. I love it. I think so. Awesome job. Thank you. Okay.
arts and sciences. Um, but this cancel due to illness. So our February program now becomes our March program. Yeah, Lady Fiona, Mistress Fiona Dorothy. Um, so we're making at home at the Kentucky Library. Yeah. yeah. And I'll only post the thing on the book of faces. Um, I did have a question um, thinking about all of the stuff going on for um, our maids. I figured I was going to be needing to be the one that puts in the bid for uh, the champions event. Or is that just put out to anybody to put in the Are you clarifying that? champions the event of champions or a competition at Barmaids? If not at Barmaids. Not, not at Barmaids. She's talking about champions the event champions. Yes. So we, would, we would need to put an event bid together just in case there's things that cost. And that would still make sense to Are you talking about a and champions? Yes, ma'am. So a and champion topic. is all of the champions, and I think everybody Correct. who is a champion should have to put in a bid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of all the champions, okay, so I think it's... that it is appropriate because it's not just a and anymore. Okay, so if the it's... two of you feel passionate about it, can we chat on it together and bring something back? Because there is still a gathering of the event. There's still a place of the event. There's still tokens of the event. There's still, still yeah, there's still there is still an right. autocrat of it all. No, and She's that's what I'm saying is bid. everybody should put in a bid who's a champion because and then one of those people will oh to be autocrat oh, not yes. just to be your little section. I just kind of no to be the autocrat. Got you. Last time I was just sort of told I'm it. Oh, we um, we know girl. So it's a different type of girl. situation. Okay. Okay. It's a it's it's a whole new world. We can we can break into Disney songs. <laughs> you know, my, 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 my only um, thought about that whole thing is um, venues and wondering if people like the venue from last time. They wanted a different venue because I know there was some of the autocrats. So how, would, how would everyone feel about me starting so, a shenanigans post in Mons that it's time to start looking at who would like to put in a bid to autocrat and I can call out all of our current champions, if someone could help me get a list of names. Yeah. That's easy. Yeah. That's yeah. actually pretty easy. Very, yeah, very I would easy. like I would like to volunteer as tribute for shenanigans. Okay. okay. Uh, as a uh, as a former champion and, and one who had to attempt to run a tournament, fortunately, our uh, regalia officer saved my bacon. Thank you very much. I had no idea what I was doing. But uh, outside fighting tournaments in the middle of summer, not a fan. <laughs> um, Truth. I am not opposed to an indoor tournament in the middle of summer. Yeah, but uh, hey, there's there's one down by Veterans Memorial Park that you can run. <laughs> hey Jim, so we can do indoor fighting events. Can I, in 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 Hello. the post of the thing? Hello. Yes. Are we still fixed on a specific month for champions? June. The date June is already July. set. It's already set in stone because of. That's all I needed to know. If yes. it's in June, then we'll put that in there and we can say July. June or July. Somebody call it. I was supposed yeah, to be yeah, yeah. July. Done. Then yeah, I'll put that in my note that you know we need clever and curious ways to manage an event in July that's safe for all the participants. And see what our autocrats to be come up with. So I mean I have some thoughts, but they might be expensive thoughts. So um, I'll keep those to myself. Or put them in the comments. And yeah. Stoke a fire. Uh, who can help me get the champions' names? I can. I will take all the help I can get. Very easy. I'll get them as soon as I get home. I'll get online and I'll, and then I'll warn. Me. I'll warn BFC that that's going to be <laughs> one of our next reviews. Sounds good. What's our next event after that? While we're on the topic, July, August is that would be and then which is when the yeah. champions, the hearts of champions, champions. champions. Uh, uh, I would like to put the call out for both champions and and stoke the fire. Good call. I'm not seeing your cards. A and S on the Kingdom calendar. Uh, uh, Mons Champions is July 15th, according to the Kingdom calendar. July 15th. Thank you, Kingdom Weapon. Oh, that was like his voice. Well, 
But it does mean we have we have a that would be the bearing of Abel's anniversary, I believe. But that doesn't mean that we are actually scheduled at the same time. We have done that before. Yeah, okay. it's that that that's something that the all the the bees and have discussed is northern and southern berries can do events at the same time, and we're okay with that. Okay. okay. So because Arizona is oh, a fairly yes. large state. And um, I can't think of anything. If you have any ideas for classes or whatnot, you know, send, send your ideas to me and we'll see about setting up a time and a place. And that's it for now. Is not here. She sends her regards and she's not feeling well today. Aww. Send her hugs and squeezes. Q1 Thunderbolt is out. Newsletter was magic. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> Lady Megan is here. Right. Thunderbolt is also posted on the website. Um, I'm working on the barmaid's post as we speak. <laughs> In there. <laughs> Um, okay, so first thing, um, we had that huge, uh, in February, uh, Google Workspace data migration to Kingdom. Uh, so the Barony no longer hosts its own, and it's going to be like that for all Baronies. And that is an SCA compliance rule right now. And a lot of other SCA compliance rules have either come out or are being really reinforced. And there's a lot of things that we were out of compliance with, but we're slowly getting ourselves back into compliance with that too. Um, and uh, so there was a couple of things that happened during uh, the migration. And I thank everyone for their patience too, because I think we said like, oh, it'd be a couple days and it took us a week. And we literally worked every single night of that week <laughs> trying to get the files transferred. And what was kind of nice, even though our barony was the guinea pig, it gave us kind of an idea of the difficulty and the largeness of the task that is facing, especially our kingdom webmen and the other baronies. So it was great of us that everyone was so patient and willing to work with each other and work with using Facebook to try to get matters done for their office while we did this, because I don't know if the other baronies will be as patient, not sure, but I think we did a really good job. Um, Okay, so I am announcing too that when I sent out those long emails to everybody and I had said, you know, don't do this, don't do that, I just want to like reinforce that just to remind everybody since we're all here or most of us are, um, we cannot have personal information on our emails because that made, that made it really hard to manage accounts, especially when those accounts are taken away from someone who's no longer in office. Some things wanted to revert to like because it's it's Google security issues and they're asking for uh, verify your email, verify your stuff using this personal information, and we don't have access to that obviously. And sometimes we don't have access to that person to try to get them to help us verify things. It's just an extra pain. So no more personal things in emails that cannot be done. And if it is, then we have to completely reset your account so that we just avoid that whole issue. Um, and do not change your recovery email information that's supposed to be webmin. My recovery email information is the kingdom webmin and so on and so forth. So there's a tiered thing going on and that just helps us manage things better and easier. And this is all new stuff that we have just recently learned too. Um, so that's the rule going forward. And um, we had uh, some email changes that we made to comply with um, the SA rules for what an email expresses itself as. And then we made alias emails on top of that. And there was confusion with that. So some alias email emails have been deleted and I'll explain that. Uh, I've been asked a couple times what an alias email means and all it means is it's a fake email where an, if an email goes to it, it gets redirected to the main inbox that it's an alias for. 
So main inboxes should now be the role title with the baronial uh, attachment. So role at bmt.org. And it'll be the same with the others. It's role at bmt or uh, rare and grand amount of bgm.org, stuff like that. Um, so the aliases that were made and deleted are Thunderbolt and Thunderbolt Pursuivant. So now we just have Herald and Chronicler. And only one alias exists, and it's for the, uh, the shadowing office, because welcome is very easy for newcomers to understand. They don't even have to be new members. It's just a new a way to reach out to new people so they don't have to remember, like, what the heck is shadowing? And I don't understand. And you don't have words. to spell shadowing? You don't have to try to spell shadowing. <laughs> <laughs> welcome is so Those easy to remember. <laughs> yes. So, so that is the only alias email we have right now. Don't try to email the other ones because you'll get a bounce back anyway. It'll say, oh, this didn't work. Um, and all the emails on the website should be up to date. And I'm trying to keep officers up to date on the website as well. And I'm trying to use your, uh, your SCA formal names. And then if you have a nickname, I try to put one of them in parentheses and the other one standing out of the parentheses. Um, if you see your name is misspelled on the website, I will fix it. Just let me know. I tried to find the correct spelling on the OP or on Facebook, if you have it on Facebook. And if you're going through a name change, when that gets approved and you want it on the website, let me know about that too. And I'll, I'll fix that as well. Now, speaking of the website, we have another compliance issue that we are facing as we speak. And we're trying to kind of squeak by while we get other things taken care of, because this is kind of hard to take care of. Um, images, according to SCA top level bot people, Images all have to be basically signed off on as far as like I've given my express approval for you to have my image on the website. I don't know what it's like for social media and Niccolo can probably like say real quickly what that means for social media if it means anything but for the website, we need to have a like written compliance of some kind. And we're trying to come up with a way to do that quickly so that we just don't take images off the website and have absolutely no imagery. Um. A few years ago, somebody did like a model release and everyone yeah. signed it yeah. and handed it to whoever. Okay. So maybe that's a thing to do at, at a business meeting or a fighter practice model and releases. then just keep them on file. Yeah, I think it would affect, you're, you're probably right. It's so we need something easy and yeah. it mainly affects, I think, officers for now because I don't think we have other images on the website of actual events and actual people's faces beyond our officers. So we're working on something kind of like that right now because it not only needs done with us, it has to be done with all the baronies and kingdom and it's something that's kind of under the kingdom umbrella. Since I'm the only baronial web minister in the entire kingdom, I'm also trying to help with stuff like that too. So like his job is really big, my job is not as big, but I'm trying to help take on that burden if I can and when I can. There's probably the form on sca.org the form download. Okay, I can take I'm gonna write SEA.org. So the form has been uploaded. Um the problem oh. with uh, blanket model forms is the SEA is no longer accepting them. They have to be individually signed by individually people for individual artwork. So every piece of artwork that is up there, whether it be a photo of you, um, whether it be a photo of something you created, if you are the owner of that artwork slash person, face, whatever it is, it has to have its own release. And that is coming straight from California. Mm -hmm. All right. So no large model release sorts of forms. Well, as soon as you guys figure out what form you need, shoot it to us and we'll, uh, we'll fill it out for our pictures on the website for sure. All right. So we can be a gate gate. Yay. Yeah, I think we have to figure out how the data management is handled with that too. Like if that lives in our officer folders or kingdom folders or whatnot, but that's one of the many things that still has to be figured out and decided because there are other, uh, it's like all the, all the requests for things to be done and fixed that come in have the same amount of importance to yes. these other people. And it's like, okay, some of it's more important than others, but you have to communicate that. And that's kind of difficult sometimes. I recommend having the picture on the form and having the form be digitally signable. Like on the form, possibly, digital sign, possibly. And that that's seems like what we're working on. Too. Yeah. Just so you can see what picture is being signed off on what. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So 
but it's a good recommendation too. Okay, now I skipped around this thing, so I'm going to look real quick. Okay, and I, I just wrote some reminders. If you have issues with your passwords, your email, um, calendar, anything on the website that's acting funky for you, anything on Drive, let me know. I'm totally down to work with people, and everyone so far has been really great about letting me know stuff. And um, there was an instance where the calendar wasn't visible or I forgot to share the folders out after we got all the emails live and all the drive stuff uploaded. And I was so excited. And someone's like, I can't access stuff. And I'm like, oh, let me share this out real quick. Because <laughs> it was previously shared from the webman. And I never had to do that before. And I was like, oh, shoot, I need to do that. Same with the calendar. Now, there's still a weird error message showing up on our calendar at the top. And it says, you're not allowed to view this this stuff. And it's so annoying because you can view the stuff below it. And it's one of those minor <laughs> troubleshooting things that I don't think I can get to right away. But as long as you can see the calendar, I'm not super worried about that. And um, you guys told me, you sent me an email from uh, Coronets that there was a weird calendar notification coming from an email that says monstonitrous at gmail.com. Yeah. And I don't know what that is yet. Oh, it's, it's it's old. ancient. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and I don't well, know how okay, not ancient, that. I'm being hyperbolic, but yeah. <laughs> and, and so, yeah, just curious. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to fix that because the calendar information it's sending you to is incorrect as well. Um, and I forwarded that like late last night to Kingdom, and we'll try to figure that out when we get a chance next yeah, time. It, on the list of priority things, it's like rock bottom. Okay. It and was I, just kind of more of a point of curiosity for me. It's like, and I mention it for sure because what if other officers were experiencing that too? So just to let everyone know, if you get a weird calendar notification from monstonitrous at gmail.com, it's probably incorrect. And it's probably something that we need to go in and delete somehow. So you're welcome to tell me about it if you're getting it, but ignore it as well. So it's not correct, whatever it is. <laughs> a ghost sending stuff out. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, and I also have to remember to say keep your deputies up, updated with information because they do not have access to email. They don't have baronial emails. We talked about maybe doing something like that, but um, we had like a couple like small instances where maybe a deputy wasn't updated about something and emailed like the wrong email. So just little stuff whenever there's like a, something to do with the website or something to do with your office and email or Google Drive. And you think of, think of your deputy and whether they need to know this stuff as well. Um, and since we changed emails and we got them live again, you need to resubscribe to the website to get notifications. If you want to get notifications, there's a subscribe on every single page, whatever page you go to. It's on the right hand column towards uh, kind of the middle. If you scroll a little bit, it'll have a box and you just type your email in there. There's a bit of a problem with that too. It works, but somebody let me know that when they were typing their email in, they couldn't see it because it looks like it's using gray or white letters on a white background. Oh, and I did not know this. <laughs> so I need to go in and tell it to not do that, make it black letters on a white background. And I just found out about this last night. And so that still needs to be fixed. If you want to type your email in, find it somewhere separately or type it separately, copy it and paste it into that box so you can see whether or not you have spelling errors before you put it in the box. Then hit subscribe. Um, and Webman usually sees when you subscribe to. So if you're if you're afraid the subscription didn't work because this person was last night and they let me know, I said I got the notification that you subscribed to the website. And I just delete those when I'm done because I don't need them. <laughs> I was just gonna say you do know if you roll over it and highlight it, you can read it whatever color yes, the text is. If you roll over it and highlight it, you can read it. And then you can try to However, the right correct side. answer is yeah. for her to have fixed it. Huh? Until. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. yes, I hope they have it fixed. It's on the list. It's on the list. <laughs> the long list that's slowly getting checked off. Um, I did add um, your role badges to your email. If you think that's cool and you like it, sweet, I'll keep it. If you think it's terrible, I can work with you on it. If it's the wrong badge, I can work with you on it. Um, I also added a suggestion to have email signatures. It's not required that you do, 
but it's kind of nice to have something like that says what your office is at the bottom. And if I spelled your name wrong, you can go and fix your signature. You can go and update it or make it kind of what you want it, but let's try to keep it like Verity or Mons Nitrous or something like that, uh, or whatever your office name is just to be clear about who you are when you're emailing other people like Kingdom or outside populist members and stuff like that. And the other suggestion was organizing your drive folders and your files. And I know a lot of people probably don't like to do that. It can be kind of tedious or anxiety inducing, like where do I put this or that? So I made a template to try to help people along that way. And what that does, organizing your files, helps the next person who might come into your office or your deputy if they have to access your files for you then everything is kind of in a logical place hopefully like oh forms and documents are here or this and that is here images are here uh, or event information is here um, so that really helps them you can use whatever organization you feel is best for your office because it's not going to be the same for everybody it's going to be a little different for everyone um, so that was a suggestion, not a not an SCA rule, and uh, let's see. Oh, like the best practice. Yeah, like a nice best practice, nice for us. And uh, again, if you have issues at accessing Drive, let me know and I'll try to work with you. Um, at, everyone has access because I used the group baronial email but some people may still have problems. I know some people access it, and I think I got an email from our Herald that she still didn't have access, so I need to help you on that when I get a chance. And I think our Seneschal had trouble with email too, so I'm in the middle of trying to help you with that as well. Um, let's see, what else? Going down the list, I mentioned calendar. I still have to update um, some things on the calendar, like scribal dates possible uh, Cook's Guild. Are we, are we allowed to put Cook's Guild on our calendar? I think so. Yep. Yes. Yay. All right. Sweet. Um, the error message. It's an official guild. Yeah. Well, we did delete the Cook's Guild email because I don't think it's a warranted position. And that was kingdom decision. I didn't know anything about that. Okay. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I can it's see it. still an event that we do on a regular basis, so... Yeah, maybe there's something that needs to be figured out with that in the future to, to have contact information for that, but we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, yes, officers updated. Officers are still going to be updated again because we have other people like getting their warrants possibly signed, new LOIs in and stuff like that, so... I will be in touch with you, and if I'm not in touch with you, and you get your warrants and everything, get a hold of me, and let me know you need to be added to the website, and I need to change your information and give you access to email and all that good stuff, because sometimes things happen and it gets crazy, and I might not know when you got your warrants. And maybe yes. if I can jump in just real quick, if you guys get a new warrant, and you get a paper copy or an email copy of your warrant, please, please, please email it to me also. Um, if you do not get a copy of your warrant, let me know and I will harass the kingdom, the kingdom officer to send you a warrant. That has been something, you don't have a copy? Okay. That's been something for the last, what, 18 years that I've been in the barony? Yeah. I have had a lot of warrants and I think I remember before I stepped up the Seneschal having one copy of one of those warrants. Wow. Yeah. So please, if you need a copy of your warrant, if you want it, whatever, ask me. If you get one, please email it to me. It's easier if we have our warrants, too. And of course, I think we well, should. plus that way you can keep them and say, oh, yeah, I was your SCA yeah. resume, if you will. But it's nice yeah. to look back and say, you know, I did yeah. this, I've done that. It, and it makes you aware of what you've actually accomplished. What yes. helped me, too, was that I could see when my warrant expired right there on the warrant. And that's what Kingdom has. And when you asked me for it, or when my B and Bs asked me for it, I could just send it easily, and we didn't have to wait for Kingdom. Right. And that way, we also know who's like official and things. So whenever, whenever, whenever anyone in the past has said, "Hey, I'm the new officer for this and that," I'm like, "Cool." And you know, I take you at your word, but I also double check with my B and Bs and make sure no one's like taking an office or telling me something bogus. 
which I don't think anyone would do, but it's part of covering my butt as well. So, so if you have your warrant, I know you guys will know about it or see it or be able to see it if you need to double check it. You can't fix the OP without your warrant either. Like if you want it recorded that you held an office, huh. it won't show. They won't, they'll be like, we don't take your word for it. But I think for kingdom level awards, if you want something higher, you know, if you have aspiration, it's good to have that stuff on the OP. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you want, if you're a, um, how to find this, protege, uh -huh. you're going to want to have all those, all that proof. Yeah. You know, it's just nice to have that proof also, regardless of awards, but if you want to do, something at a society or anywhere else yeah. showing that yes I have experience is helpful. Yeah. It is as our center Hall said your SCA resume. Yeah. And I think you I, I got my digital it wasn't printed and and I think I keep it on my Google Drive so if ever like it's probably not a bad idea on your personal I haven't shared it to anyone. Um, so if you're ever anywhere and they're like, if you want to do something or help out or be involved extra for something and they need to see your warrants and you have that digitally, you can just pull it up on Drive if you're able to on your smartphone or something. Um, yeah, it's helpful, just like you said. Uh, speaking I have my warrant on my Google Drive. Yeah. <laughs> when I you still have it? Yeah. Yeah, sweet. That's awesome. Um, and speaking of warrants, mine's coming up soon. It's a straight up. <laughs> so you're supposed to advertise. Yes, it's at, it, I sent out that it should be advertised and that was right around the time we were fixing the emails basically. And right after the emails, I sent an email to our um, Thunderbolt and to uh, social media and let them know that this, no wait, I didn't email social media because I posted it on social media that it needed advertised. And, um, and immediately after that, I sent the LOI in. So it's also open if anyone wants to apply. And if you know people who are interested in applying for the webman position, I'm reapplying it. And if no one else has voted in, I'm voted back in. That's how that goes, I guess. Yep. Um, and let's see, warrant job ad. And I was going to kind of talk about, uh, I, I had things coming up, but I already talked about image authorization. And we're kind of currently working on the OP. I say kind of for me because I'm not at it every single day. Uh, our wet, our kingdom webman is working on the OP, and we had a meeting like last week about how to either fix it, make it better, or redo it. And it kind of looks like fixing it is going to take just as long or longer than redoing it, and making it better because it's like a tangled mess right now. Things are out of date, broken, etc. He has a lot that he has to deal with once again on the kingdom level because they keep poking to have the OP fixed and done as well as everything else. And it seems like that's probably maybe one of the most important things to have done. And it's going to be kind of a chore to do because there's so many people on it. Um, I talked about maybe doing uh, like testing on a small group of people to see if we can get something good to come out of that and then just copy and paste that kind of work. Um, but yeah. That's kind of like the, the future stuff that I'm hoping to be working on, as well as helping other people out here. And that's it. That's all I have to say. That was a lot. Hey, um, I don't think social media is there. She's up yes, there. she is. Yes, she is. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh. Thank you. I'll have to get that from you in the future because um, Zagan and I are still very much dealing with COVID. So I will most certainly not be attending any in-person activities. He's waiting to see if he feels any better before he asks for a volunteer for archery this Sunday. So that's where we are with COVID. Um, as far as social media, we haven't had any incidents that need discussed. Um, Your Excellencies, I'm still waiting to hear back from the incident that happened at war to see what your final remarks are for that, whether it needs continued investigated or it's, it's done. So you guys let me know, send me a message. Um, 
Let's see, from what I was able to hear from tonight's meeting for the post about Champions event, Katra, if you can type that up and email that to both me and Megan, so Megan can post it on the website and I can post it officially as the barony instead of having you post it. I'd love to. All right, thank you. Um, Lady Gwendolyn, after this Zoom meeting has processed, I would love to post this on our YouTube channel for those who were not able to attend, if no one has any objections. All right. Um, uh, that, that's the difference between social media and web, is that you don't need... Well, careful. Well, that, that's what we're trying to figure out. Exactly. It's so, an open yeah. meeting, so there's no expectation of privacy. Bingo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> because it's an officer and populist meeting. It's True. an open meeting. Yeah. The door's open. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. I would like to. Before we start making statements in any particular No, it's, it's a no expectation of privacy yes. issue. So. Yeah. so I would like to do that. Um, as far as the kingdom social media officer position. My letter of intent has been accepted. I will be a deputy for, um, for Willa. Thank you. Congratulations. I think her SEA name is Ovar for Willa. I think I'm saying that right. Maybe not. But um, waiting on the warrant to come through and yeah. So I'm gonna work with her for six months before I take on that official position. Um, I will make sure to see if I can still hold the baronial position or if I need to advertise for that in six months. Um, let's see, coronation bid has been accepted. So Mons will officially be hosting coronation in May. Um, so that Yay. was wonderful. Um, still waiting for the Facebook event to be created and for the article to be posted by the Southwind, but they have it. Article is going to be updated on the Aitenvelt website. So more information to come. This week I wanted to host a Mons meeting about coronation. It's just not going to happen. Um, I wish I felt better to put two brain cells together for that. So I'm going to push that off until next week because Next week is spring break, and I am really looking forward to that. <laughs> I don't know about you, Lady Gwendolyn, but man, <laughs> I'm ready for spring break. Um, let's see. So yeah, we'll have more information about a coronation meeting, um, what I'm going to be asking from moms as a barony on what we can do for that event on Saturday and Sunday. Um, for the Strong Oak event happening this Saturday, or I shouldn't say Strong Oak because it's a baronial event at the Douglas Art Center. Um, if I could get a write-up so I could post it on social media, or if you want to post it in the Facebook just to share it with others, hey, this is what's happening on Saturday, that would be awesome. It's already in the uh, information that I posted. Awesome. I'll just have to make sure I actually see it <laughs> so I can pin it to the top so other people can see it. Um, let's see. Oh. I, I posted I posted pictures of the display. Oh, set it up and then reminded people for the second time of the demo. OK, I might highlight the demo part more because I definitely saw the photo, but I obviously did not read far enough to see the demo information so i'm going to go back in there and highlight that and make sure people see the demo info for this saturday um in relation to strong oak in a way i am interviewing for a full-time position at cochise college a week Ooh, from today in the hopes of giving lady gwendolyn a reason to retire and to help out <laughs> <laughs> with the strong oaks position in the future. So fingers crossed that goes well. I believe it will go well. I look forward to that. Um, a comment based off what um, Megan was able to bring up about photos and forums. As far as social media, when it comes to any photo, 
Um, all SCA events are public events. And that's why we as photographers or videographers don't need to have people fill out forms. Of course, if there was ever a situation where someone says, I don't want that photo up there, then of course we would take it down. But in the year that I've been posting photos and videos all over social media, I have yet to run into that situation, nor has any of my fellow social media officers run into that situation. But that would be the scenario if someone said, hey, I don't want my photo being used for this, then we would simply take it down. But because all SEA events are public events, we do not need to use forms for social media. So I hope that clarifies that again. Thank you. And then the only other thing I wanted to propose, and this is not necessarily a social media thing, but a baronial thing. One of the events that we used to have in our barony was every first Friday was a sit and stitch at, um, at Mariette's place. And if no one wants to start that again, because I know we've talked about it, but what I'm saying is I would like to volunteer my space for a first Friday sit and stitch um, to encourage people to continue their ANS and to provide a space for that. So that's just me giving a proposal to your excellencies to consider for the future. Fantastic. Sweet. We'll do that and we'll be in touch. Yes. So I think I covered everything in my notes, um, but I am open to any questions if, if there are any questions that I can answer at this time. All right, everyone, thank you so much for your time. Uh, Lady Katra, oh, I'm to point. your email. And yes, Lady Gwendolyn. Point of order. Sorry, I'm going to get it right one day, just not oh. today. All right. <laughs> Mistress Gwen. Flynn. Flynn. Two syllables, it's Welsh. It, it does yeah, Welsh. Welsh. Oh, nice. I have my Gwen homework Flynn. assignment. Gwen Flynn. Flynn. <laughs> Blame it on COVID. I'm going, yeah, seriously. <laughs> seriously, guys. <laughs> like, I wrote down all my notes to remember what to say and I'm looking at my notes thinking what does that even mean like, I wrote it five minutes ago I, I cannot say enough how much my brain does not work and um, my students sure find it humorous so it's been an interesting two weeks with them I've been there done that I can yep. Oh, speaking of students, I would like to claim my Lord Braden because he is one of my students and I'm very proud of his participation with Strong Oak. So I am just want to brag a little bit. Semester and that's how he got started. So there you go. Hey, I will share him with you then, I guess. <laughs> but that is all I have. Thank you. You guys have a wonderful night. You too. You too. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. See ya. Feel better soon. Yeah, feel better. Hey, uh, Lady Naomi. Hey, um, scribes, continue to scribe. We have been meeting in person now for a while again at the Rogue Haven studio. Um, oh, sorry. Are you not using the Zoom anymore? We are not currently mm. using the Zoom anymore. Because it right. still because... runs every Thursday. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's recording no. nothing, but okay. it's no, there. we're not. Oh. We're not using the scribes. I'll turn it off. <laughs> so yeah, um, scribes describing your excellencies. If you have a list of awards that you need, please get it to me so that I can make sure people get assigned to scroll. We'll be we'll you. be in touch. There's a there's that because we're going to be wanting to give out some from our base, okay. and then we need officer scrolls. Okay. Yeah, send them to me. I need a list, please. Okay, we'll do it. We'll get you that. Sorry. Oh, no, no problem. Just saying, if it's not written down, I won't remember it exists and it won't get that's, done. That's <laughs> it's fair. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, Prior to this meeting, um, Isolde has, um, she will no longer be shadowing.
So I will I will be uh, acting shadowing. Uh, I do intend to submit a memoir tomorrow. Um, so that's coming up. Um, she had turned some of the bar over to me, three big coat boxes full. I have an inventory of those items. Okay. Um, I also have an inventory of some of the non garb items that were also included. Um, there are more things that need to be transferred. Um, that's just going to be a process. Okay. And as it as it transfers, then I will update the uh, this inventory. Okay. Um, right now, and in my shed, I have 99 items of Warner Garden. Wow. <laughs> Most of them are huge or teeny tiny. 21 items, 24 items need repair. So I've separated those out. Um, I am. Erica and I think on the same wavelength, I, I believe, because my shed is going to become my studio, and um, I want to organize people to come and work on garb. I think not only do we need to repair garb, but I think we need to make garb because we can't depend on donations from people, generous as they are, to cover all the sizes and the types of things that we need. Um, I think I have three huge items, for example. So um, I want to set up a pattern library to use with sewing these, these basic art pieces. Um, and I will graciously and thankfully accept any donation of fabric patterns or trims. And if you throw some thread in there too, you will be blessed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And I have, I have now a contractor who is going to be starting to work on my shifts. Really excited about that. Um, our neighboring sister barony, Val Valise Ayers. Are you close to pronouncing that right? I don't know. Teresa. George. Yeah. Uh, how do you say that? Are we talking about the George? The, the yeah. 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 I yeah. don't yeah. remember. Yeah. Uh, okay. Gregory, do you happen to know what they're going to call their canton? Ayers. Valise Ayers or something like that. Valise Ayers. Valise Ayers. Okay. Um, How do you spell that? B A L L I S A E R I S. Perfect. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> they, um, it's pretty name. It is pretty. It, it looks very pretty. Uh -huh. yes. They um, <laughs> will be needing a longer garb, and I'll be working with whoever they designate. So yeah. we want to make sure that they're well supported. Yeah. Um, and that's that's all I have right now. Thank you, Thank you very much for, uh, for stepping up into that role, well, Lady Isabella. It is greatly appreciated. I am having a lot of fun. <laughs> we have noticed that. Yeah. We have noticed that. And who still? I'm alive. I promise. Um, we believe you. So there is supposed to be a Cooks Guild meeting this Thursday. Um, blood work will let me know whether that's happening or not. Um, I'll find okay. out. So um, other than that, uh, I have been posting a few things inside the Cooks Guild thing on the uh, Book of Faces. Um, I'm actually going to hand that over to social media uh, to where I'm going to be sending things to social media for them to post out just so it's easier to deal with. Um, other than that, we have, um, nothing really planned this week, other than we were going to go over a couple of recipes that I found from a 
brand new website that I did post that goes over the art of medieval cooking. It's actually a quite interesting news article and read. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. Other than that, that's all I have to say about Cook Skilled at this time. All right. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna make this quick because wow, we've had a lot going on. It. Yeah. Um, so some exciting news. We will be meeting with uh, King and Seneschal very soon about the new Canton for that George and Ellie are going to be starting up. Uh, we are obviously very much excited and very much in favor of supporting this. So uh, we look forward to expediting this process and making it happen. We will be the berries that it's yeah. We will be the, the uh, sponsoring berries. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. Uh, Crown tournament's coming up. Uh, question for Regalia. Are we going to need to transport? Do you need help transporting anything for Crown tournament? So, counter question Where is it going to be? <laughs> Preston <laughs> Valley. Oh boy. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna have to talk offline about that. Okay, so because we could do what we did for the last round tournament, throw poles on our uh, rack and throw whatever. We we the we can do that offline, so we yeah. don't have an extra long meeting. Right, I just wanted that kind of fire the first shot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We also um, need to know what the rapier is. As far as I'm aware, nothing, but we'll, okay. we'll find out. Um, anything <laughs> else? I have one more thing. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank our local webmen and kingdom webmen. You guys have done a great job of uh, wrangling a billion cats and you know probably a few dogs and other animals that are running around loose and <laughs> dragging wires with them and, and you know, <laughs> rope data. Uh, it's, that's a huge job, and you guys have done a, done a fantastic work with it. So thank you both very much. <laughs> Other than that, uh, barring anything that Her Excellency has, um, I, I'd no say. At all. Okay, feel free to call it. Oh, that's your phone. Sorry. <laughs> 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 My phone doesn't have military time. Uh, I can tell military time, and just my phone doesn't. I, I feel you. I'm going to say, but I'm like, what? What? Why? Okay, so I will call me. Uh, close to meeting at eight nineteen. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for all your hard work for being here.